Hi, welcome back. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching my other videos, you'll know we have now covered all topics in cell structure. Exam question. Figure one shows an animal cell. What is structure A? Tick one response. Before we do the question, let's do a quick recap. So an animal cell we learned is a type of a eukaryotic cell. The other eukaryotic cell we learnt about was the plant cell. The membrane is to do with substances entering and leaving the cell. Cell wall is to do with a plant cell and provides strength. Chromosomes are to do with the genetic material and are in the nucleus. In cytoplasm is where chemical reactions happen. Let's go and have a quick recap on the labels. So an animal cell has a cell membrane. It has a nucleus. And it has cytoplasm. It can also have ribosomes and mitochondria. Back to the question, we want to know what structure A is. If we look at structure A, it's pointing to the cell membrane. What is structure B? Tick one response. Let's do a quick recap on these words again. Chloroplast is to do with a pigment called chlorophyll. photosynthesis and absorption of light. Mitochondria is to do with energy and respiration. Nucleus is to do with control in the cell and genetic material. is to do with cell sap and supporting the cell. If we look at structure B, it is pointing to the nucleus. So we can take nucleus worth two marks. In the human body, glucose is absorbed into the blood from the small intestines. The small intestines contain villi, which two of the following help the absorption of glucose in the small intestines? Tick two responses. Recap again from the previous videos. When we looked at absorption, think about large surface area to volume ratio. Villi give the small intestines Question two, the image below shows an epithelial cell from the lining of a small intestines. In the image above, the part of the cell labeled A contains chromosomes. What is the name of part A? Part A, if we think back to the small intestines, the lining of the small intestines would be an animal cell. The labels of an animal cell so you would have a cell membrane, you would have cytoplasm, you would have mitochondria, which are already shown, and this looks as though it would be the nucleus. Suggest so how the highly folded cell surface helps the epithelial cells absorb soluble food. Think back to the word absorb, which is to do with surface area. It provides the cell with a larger surface area. Worth two marks, wants to know why epithelial cells 
have many mitochondria. The two points about mitochondria we always remember is energy and respiration. So the answer here would be the mitochondria provide energy for respiration. And these two key words give us the two marks. Figure below shows four different types of cell. Which cell is a plant cell? Give one reason for your answer. For the next part, you have to decide which one's an animal cell and again give a reason for your answer. Part C, you have to decide which one's a prokaryotic cell and give a reason for your answer. Each of these are worth two marks. Let's recap. I start with cell D. Cell D has a vacuole. We can see cell D has a cell wall. We can see it has little structures here, which could be chloroplast. So all of these features, if we think back to our cells topic, tell us it could be a eukaryotic cell, but a plant cell. Here we can see this has a cell wall like a plant cell, but we can also see it has no nucleus. And again, if we think back to our previous topic, we can remember no nucleus was a big giveaway for a prokaryotic cell. And an example of a prokaryotic cell is a bacteria cell. Here we have a cell membrane, but no cell wall. We have cytoplasm. Can also see it has a nucleus. Cell A shows it has a cell wall. It has a cell membrane. It has a nucleus in cytoplasm. So does it actually fit into any of the cells we've studied? And let's go to our questions. Which cell is a plant cell? So we can see that we've identified cell D as the plant cell. So we can write D and the reason we can write down has a cell wall or we can write down has a vacuole. The next part, which cell is an animal cell? So here we've identified that this cell B must be an animal cell because it has all the features of an animal cell. No cell wall. And we can say has a nucleus cytoplasm and cell membrane which are the basic structures in an animal cell which cell is a prokaryotic cell the prokaryotic cell is a bacteria cell so we can see here we've identified cell C as our prokaryotic cell and one of the main reasons for a prokaryotic cell is that there is no nucleus and the DNA is free in the cytoplasm. Part D of question 3. A scientist observed a cell using an electron microscope. The size of the image is 25 millimeters. The magnification was times 100,000. Calculate the real size of the cell. The answer must be given in micrometers. Quick recap. We learnt if we want to convert micrometers 
8 millimeters, we must divide by a thousand. However, if we need to do the opposite, convert millimeters to micrometers, we must multiply by a thousand. Back to our triangle method, we remember the word miss, M starts on the left side, and we write the miss out. M stands for magnification, I stands for image size, and S stands for real size. We must calculate the real size. We can see our image size is 25. Our magnification is a hundred thousand. Divide our image size by the magnification to get our real size. For answer, we can write 25 divided by a hundred thousand which will give us an answer of 0.0025. Remember, we have to convert it to micrometers, so we have to multiply this by a thousand, which will then give us 0.25. The tip and the linking words for today are to do with the villi. Whenever we think of the word villi, we should think of small intestines. When we think of small intestines, we should think of this diagram, which shows the villi. It shows lots of folds. Folds always means increased surface area. Increased surface area always means effective absorption. Also remember that the villi has lots of blood capillaries. The blood capillaries allows effective diffusion. Thank you for watching. Join me on my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.